story of a young girl who through her incredible talent, confidence and commitment to singing became one of the country's most recognizable voices. The heart and soul of a true Banjaran with roots in Rajasthan, her contributions created bridges of peace between borders, cultures and communities. The nightingale of the desert effortlessly guides her listeners to peace. Brought to you by Miami Media Company. This is Reshma. Born to a family of gypsies in pre-partition Rajasthan, Reshma's family moved to Pakistan after independence. A devout child who spent her time singing at the darbar of Shabazz Kalandar was soon discovered by radio producer Salim Gilani. Known to launch talent from across the country, Gilani, who would later become director of Radio Pakistan, requested a 12-year-old Reshma to come to Karachi for a recording session. Her first time in a music studio, Reshma recorded the same song she was discovered singing at the darbar, Mast Kalandar, a kalam written by Bulle Shah which became an instant hit under the song title Lal Meri Pat. Lal Meri Pat Rakhiyo bhala jhule lal Sindir da Reshma was launched into the consciousness of mainstream music at a very young age, but held her own presence alongside other legendary singers of the time, delivering incredible renditions of folk songs, melancholic ghazals, and love ballads. Her innocence and sincerity captured the hearts of millions. In the PTV music program Nikhar. we see a confident and radiant reshma sing alongside parvez mehdi in 1974 her talents were recognized by acclaimed director raj kapoor across the border who included a reshma original song akhiyan urende in his super hit bollywood film bobby Reshma was beloved by all who connected with her voice and message of peace. She was awarded the Pride of Performance by the President of Pakistan in 1982. After her rise to fame in Bollywood, film director Subhash Ghai invited her to sing Lambi Judai for his film Hero released in 1983. A distillation of her soulful nomadic heritage. The song proved to be a timeless classic and is still inspiring a generation of musicians today. At the pinnacle of her career, she was diagnosed with throat cancer and spent the next 3 decades struggling with her illness. Unable to continue singing and burdened by the growing cost of her treatment, she fell into financial despair. During her ongoing battle with throat cancer, Reshma was awarded the Sitara Imtiaz in recognition for her invaluable contribution to folk singing. President Musharraf sanctioned a small stipend of 10,000 rupees to help the struggling legend. But soon after, Reshma was abandoned by the state. Her recognition was overshadowed by the disruptive politics of the time. On the 3rd of November 2013, at the age of only 66, the nightingale of the desert sang her last song, carrying her to her final abode in heaven. 